Hi, Earth Signs. It's Angela with Mystic Moon. Welcome to your February 2021 reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Please just take what resonates and get rid of what doesn't. So the beautiful organite that we're going to be using here today is called the Naked Journey Nude, created by my friend Michelle from Wingham Bell. I'll list her information down below. As far as the decks that I'm going to be using, I'll let you guys know what I'm using. As I shuffle and pick through each deck, everything will be listed down below. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look and see what is our overall theme for the month of February for Earth Signs 2021. Let's take a look. This right here is my Arrows of Love Oracle. It's currently on special, $10 off for U.S. customers only or until supplies last for the whole month of February. All right, what is our theme for this month? Okay, we have farewell. Maybe we're saying farewell to someone. Maybe we've been tra or traveling. Maybe we have been with someone or we've been hanging out at a certain location and now we're going to be saying goodbye to that location. That could be it as well. Or we're just basically ready to move on with something. So we're gonna go into clear story cards one and two. Get an additional message here. What else? Male rival. Interesting. So it could be that there is some sort of a male rival specifically. Maybe you are saying farewell to a problem, some situation, a lover's triangle. We do see three people here. Okay. Does say male. We can technically say this could be a masculine energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be male, but there's some sort of a rival here, some sort of an issue or a problem perhaps where there's just something has got to go. We're saying goodbye to a problem. We're saying goodbye to trouble, to drama, to rivals, to anyone that's kind of standing in the way or just creating issues in our lives. So we're saying farewell to this, this month. We're going to go into the Love Potion Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. No good. Yeah, there's something that's no good here. It's something has got to go. And I, and I think it's very interesting that we have farewell and arrival and saying, no, it's no good. So this doesn't mean you guys that you guys are going to have to deal with this kind of situation. It's either going to resonate with you or it won't, but you're saying goodbye to some sort of drama. You're saying goodbye to something that just, it's not jiving with you anymore. It's not bringing peace to your life. It's actually creating more of an issue than anything else. So this right here is called the colors of love. Let's get a card here. Let's see what else. Okay. We have choice. A lover may approach you on a matter where you'll have to make a difficult choice. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't speak. A lover may approach you on a matter where you'll have a difficult choice to make. It's unclear right now the decision that you'll make, if any. Wow, you guys. A choice between two people or just a difficult choice to perhaps walk away from the whole situation. Whatever this is, Spirit is telling us here. It's no good. It's time to say goodbye to this drama. It's time to say goodbye to a person or a situation. Now it says lover, you guys, this could be a family member, a friend, a coworker, a boss, a job, something that just doesn't feel good for you. It's creating issues and stress. So now we're going to go into the bride's tarot, get three cards here and just kind of sum this up for this theme for the month. We have judgment. Oh yes. It's a judgment. Whenever I see, um, the judgment card, this means a very important decision must be made. Okay. I also see judgment as a card that's connected to karma. There could be some sort of karmic lesson here. This could also be that we're resurrecting. We're being reborn. So we're saying goodbye to the old kind of farewell to the old and hello to something new. So this could be that you're leaving something old in the past and you're wanting to go towards something new. You don't want to screw around anymore with something that just really either isn't going anywhere or this just doesn't feel good to you. So a huge decision this month. And we have the two of cups. It has something to do with something that does work for you. You know, two of cups is two people being on the same page. If that's not what you have with one person, but you have it with another, you may be making a choice between two people and going with what feels right for you, what feels healthy to you. 
what makes you feel like, you know, I have a real good connection with this person. I can trust this person. This feels really solid to me. This feels really stable to me. This other situation does not. So some of you guys are definitely making a choice with lovers. Okay. Or just somebody that you're on the same page with. And if you're not on the same page with, or you've seen with your own eyes, the judgment call that you're making is that there is no potential with this person. It's just a waste of time at this point, or I'm wasting my time at this job. You know, damn well, deep down inside in your gut and in your heart, what is good for you and what's not good for you. So you are going to make this choice this month. For some of you, you're going to make this choice. Father of knives. So the father of knives, you guys, is the king of swords in this deck. And the king of swords is somebody who makes a very logical and rational decision. Okay, so this does tell me here that you may not make a decision based on how you feel. You may make a decision based on what the rational decision should be. Kind of like, you know what, this just doesn't make sense to me. My heart and my emotions might be tied up in something and I may not want to let it go. But my rational mind is telling me that something is off here. Something just doesn't feel good. It's no good. And it's probably not right for me. So I do feel like you guys are going to make a choice that's based in logic and rational uh, decision making here this month. And that's the thing. You're going to go with it and it's going to feel right for you. You know what's right for you. It's like you know in your heart, but your mind is telling you, yes, I know what's right for me. This feels right. That's what I'm getting here. So if you guys have been trying to make a relationship work with someone and it's just not working. I'm getting here. You might be saying farewell to the situation and walking away and going towards something that will work for you in the future. You might be making that rash decision and saying, you know what? I'm just done. I'm, I'm a boss. This is like boss energy to me. I'm a boss of my own life and my judgment call is no more. I'm done with this. And some of you guys might have a choice between two people and you're going to go with the more practical, logical choice. And it's going to be right for you because it's actually going to be more um, in alignment with you because you guys are going to be on the same page rather than a person or a situation that just is either playing games or that just is a rival at this point causing drama. Interesting energy here. Interesting. Okay. So that seems to be the overall theme for the month of February, 2021. Okay, so let's now take a look and get into the lessons, healing, and growth that may occur in February 2021 for Earth Signs. So we're going to go into the lover or secrets of a lover's journey oracle from Aqua Moonlight. We have honeymoon desires, gentle romantic touch, spending quality time. We also have Love Games by Sister Montero. Reflecting. So reflecting on what we desire is what I'm seeing here. Reflecting on what we desire. We're going to go ahead and get a heart song here from the Songs in the Key of Love by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. What is this? A theme, like a, a song through lyrics that will provide some sort of lesson, healing, and growth this month. From Billy Joel, Just the Way You Are, it says, I said I love you and that's forever. And this I promise from the heart. I could not love you any better. I love you just the way you are. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be perhaps some sort of a growth where we're reflecting perhaps on something that we desire. So what is honeymoon? You know, honeymoon is the honeymoon period where we feel very much in love with someone. You know, we feel very uh, just enamored in a situation. We might be reflecting on a love from the past. We might be reflecting on how we once felt this way. So there's something here where we're reflecting on this time that we spent with someone specific, where someone may have promised you or said that they would be there for you. So we're going to go into my twin flame journey tarot and get some additional messages here to sum up this lesson or growth or healing that may occur this month. Okay. Transition. 
Okay, so this could really all be going together in one because we did get the farewell card as the overall theme for the month. So now we have death. We're going to be transitioning this energy. We're reflecting on a period of time where things were really loving and amazing with someone, where someone said that they would love you forever and that they promised that they would love you forever. But perhaps for some of you watching this video, it didn't last. Something happened here, okay? You might also be reflecting on that choice between what you feel is right for you versus what you know isn't right for you. And you could be making a choice to end something with someone this month too. What else? Two of wands, see the two of wands is the decision. You're, de you're making a decision. You're making a decision on what's best for your future. Yep. And it's done with integrity. This is about commitment. The Hierophant to me is somebody who you're going to, you have a really good shot of having a strong commitment. Someone who's committed to you, somebody who acts with integrity, somebody who is in it for the long haul. So I do feel you guys that if you don't have that with someone, or let's even say a work situation, this may not even be a lover. This could even be a friendship, a business deal. If you feel deep down that you know something just is not right, something is off, pay attention to that. Don't allow your, your, your heart to run the show and how you feel about someone because it could be excusing these red flags that you see. Someone may have said these things, but perhaps that's not something that they can follow through with. Or you could have someone that is saying these things to you, but you perhaps are interested in someone else that's not good for you. There's a choice to be made this month where you might be, you know, finding yourself in a way just kind of like bonded or attracted to a person where there's some, there's some trauma or something. You might be attached to someone in an unhealthy way and there's someone that may present themselves or even someone else in your life that does really truly care about you. And it could be that your attraction to the bad person might really be messing with you this month. So this is an opportunity here that you're going to make some decisions based on people that are acting with an integrity, people that actually don't just say things, but they, they show you, they show you through their actions that they truly care for you and that they want to make this commitment. So if you, if you're dealing with someone that's not doing these things, it's like the proof is in the pudding. It's time for you to let that go. And it's time for you to go towards things that are going to bring you that happiness. And you're not just holding on to broken dreams and promises that are just empty in the end. So we're making some pretty major decisions this month based on, do I want to keep on going down a particular path that just isn't providing any stability and it's not providing for me what I'm really truly looking for, or I'm going to make a decision to go towards something else that is more suited for me, or I'm going to stay with a person perhaps that is giving me these things. And maybe I need to examine something within me that can't see what I actually truly have. There's a lot of people that don't realize what they have until it's gone. And I do feel like for some of you, you might be dealing with this energy this month, or maybe perhaps you become unhappy in a situation or within a partnership, but it really has more to do with you than it has to do with your person. That could be for some. Okay, you guys. So that is the situation for lessons in healing and growth. We're really learning something about ourselves. We're really learning how to take care of ourselves and learning what we truly want and desire and what we're not going to put up with anymore. Okay. So now we're going to go into what are the outer influences? And what this means is that this could be energy that's coming at you from other people or other people that you were experienced these things with this month. And it, this could happen for some, it may not resonate for everyone. So we're going to go into the 50 shades of love by channeling the Venus 222. We have abandoned. So we have farewell, abandon, and transition in this reading. This right here is the Love Journey Cards by Bridget Rao, Divine Essentials. Okay, so too many cards just fell out. I'm only going to take the one that flipped up on the floor. Just grab it real quick. I'm reminded of you every time I see the sunrise. So we are reflecting perhaps on someone that abandoned us. 
Okay. So someone external to us may have abandoned us at one period of time. And we're reminded of them when we look at the sunrise. I mean, this doesn't have to just be the sunrise when we look off into the distance or when we look into a sunset, even or maybe we're on the beach body of water. We're kind of looking off into the distance and we're thinking about how this person may have abandoned us. So there could be something that does need to be healed this month. Okay. So an external person has created some sort of trigger within you is what I'm getting here. So this right here is flames of desire. So this could be something kind of spicy this month. This is from angelic revelation 144. Something spicy this month. How oh, we have love is blind. So some of you guys, of course, could be experiencing something with someone where uh, you're actually being blindfolded. Just take that as you will. So that could be something that's fun and exciting this month, but this could also be really playing into the message that we do have here, which has a lot to do with love is blind. Sometimes, sometimes because of how we feel about someone, it does have a tendency to cause us to be blinded to the red flags, to be blinded to use utilizing our logic and our rational thinking. And I do get a theme here this month for, uh, dealing with someone. This right here is the opium twin flames tarot from fire, which tarot with the knight of wands the knight of wands to me is a player the knight of wands is someone who basically is just on the edge of the, your life they're not really committed they're not really showing up for you this is somebody that you might be extremely attracted to again like love is blind when you look at this person you just desire them you want them you just feel all of these things for them Okay. But they're not that hierophant energy, that person that's going to be able to bring forth to you that true commitment that you are desiring. So we might be letting the Knight of Wands go this month. Yeah, we have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is a cheater. Seven of Swords is somebody who's lying, somebody who's trying to get away with something. Things are not what they seem. So again, love is blind. Don't be blind this month to people that are external to you. So this is a little bit of a warning here. You may need to abandon your taste for the bad boy or the bad girl. I am getting that. And we have Ace of Pentacles. Yes, go towards things. So you do have an opportunity to start new and start fresh. Go towards things where there's a true commitment. When I see the Ace of Pentacles in a reading, this tells me here, this has something to do with an offer of stability. It's a solid offer. It's an opportunity to perhaps go towards marriage. If that's what some of you guys want, because the hierophant came up in this reading, this is definitely some sort of a solid offer. You're clearing away the bad, the bad boy, bad girl syndrome, and you're going towards things and planting new seeds for the future with solid people. So I do feel like there are perhaps some wounds and some traumas and some issues this month for earth signs that are needing to really examine. Why do I have this taste? Why do I have this attraction to these types of people? There's something going on within you. Perhaps that does need to be cleared and healed this month. And it's through perhaps a knight of wands where this is shaking things up for you to kind of get things realigned within your, your, you know, soul for ascension. So you can move forward and, and make healthier choices in your future. So that is what we have here when it comes to an external person or external influences in your life through lies, through deception, through red flags, through this back and forth energy where somebody's just not solid. That is proof in the pudding that this person is either not to be trusted, or this isn't somebody that you can make a solid, can, like it's not somebody that you can make a solid investment with. You would be wise to go in a different direction or choose perhaps another person that is offering you these things. Interesting. So that is what we have here for that. Now let's, this is the final uh, portion of the reading. This is going to be acts of self love. So these are acts of self love that you can give to yourself this month. So this right here is a really cute deck from rising sun Oracle. It is called love notes to my Valentine. So this is about like, uh, acting as your own Valentine this month. Okay. Now, of course, if you guys are coupled up or if you're dealing with someone where you're in a good you know, connection with. This could be energy that comes from them, but this is really intended for to be your own Valentine this month. Tonight is ours. I love that. 
And that just basically tells you here, yes, for some of you, you guys are going to perhaps be coupling up with someone on Valentine's day, maybe not Valentine's day. It could be any time this month, but you may be spending that particular night with someone. There could be a blindfold um, included with that other card that came through. We do have two glasses here. So for some though, what I'm getting here is that it's, it's your night. It's your night to really treat yourself. It's your night to really love yourself, to really dedicate a special night to you and only you if you are single or if you're alone at this present time to really just give yourself the extra tender loving care. So maybe pour yourself a glass of champagne or cider, maybe take a bubble bath, you know, maybe do something where you're feeling you're really just being good to yourself and loving yourself. This is the do the damn thing Oracle card or um, affirmation cards by Victoria. I am the writer of my own journey. I love it. Absolutely. You write your own journey. You do your thing. You do you. You do it however feels right for you. But you are the creator of your own universe. You're the creator of your own experiences. And the more that you spend time by loving yourself and taking care of yourself, you are going to attract that and another person if you're looking to couple up. Okay? But you and you alone can create anything that you want. So it's about being specific and it's about being also at the same time open to, you know, when I say being specific with being open, it's kind of finding a happy medium in that. We don't want to be specific as in, I want a person that's six, two with blue eyes and they have to be, um, a longshoreman. You know, I'm just throwing that out as an example that right there, we're being very closed off to the opportunity to perhaps meet someone that would be better suited for us. That maybe is some, something else has a different occupation that might have brown eyes that might be a little bit shorter than you usually go for, but they're just absolutely perfect and they resonate with your soul. So that's why we don't want to be too specific with details. We want to be at least open and we want to actually be what we want to attract. So if you want to attract someone who's honest and you want to attract somebody who loves, loves is, has the ability to love you, you have to have the ability to love yourself just the same before you can actually have the ability to love someone else. So that's why it's very important perhaps this month that you really dedicate more time to your own, like more opportunity to love yourself this month. Okay. You could also be writing in a journal this month I'm getting to, and that could really help you to really just like affirmations, writing something, maybe a gratitude list every single night before you go to bed. That is also something that will shift your vibration as well. So these right here are self-love reminders by Fire Witch Tarot. Ways that we can love ourselves this month. Always give it 100%. Don't half-ass it. Love it. So there's nothing wrong with having standards, you guys. There really isn't. Like I said, do we need to be specific with hair color and eye color or an occupation? No. But if you want somebody who's 100%, this is about you being completely authentic on your own journey and being upfront and honest about what you want. You're going to attract that in another person. If that's your vibration, you're in your integrity. You're not faking it. You're not saying yes. When you mean no, you're being 100%. So if you expect someone else to be 100%, this is your opportunity to start to either rewrite your journey or rewrite your script in life you know, redo how, how you want to be, what you want is what, what you are is what you're going to attract. And that's the message there. So be more 100% with yourself and you're going to attract that in a partner. If that's what you are interested in, if you're totally fine being solo on your journey, it's all up to you, what you want to experience from here on out, but always be 100% and you'll attract that in other people. Lovely. All right. And then the last part is going to be the advice. What are some, what's some advice here? This right here is called the French vintage stamp love Oracle advice for our journey. We have rendezvous, have faith and believe a meeting between you two will take place. Okay. So if you guys are looking to couple up, if you guys are looking to basically have some fun, it does look like there may be some sort of an opportunity to come together with somebody a little secret rendezvous, have faith perhaps that whatever is meant for you will be brought to you. That is what the message is. So now we're going to go into the love compass Oracle past life connection. You have a strong karmic past life connection with this person. This is a strong psychic or spiritual connection. You may feel like you've known this person before. This connection is very destined, faded and karmic in a way that is good for your soul. So this is the thing. Things are going to be drawn to you. 
Okay. Now this could of course be about a particular person that you're already dealing with. So this is probably one of the reasons why you feel this pull towards them is because there is some sort of a karmic, um, you know, past life that you've had with them. There's some sort of a connection here. And until you heal or clear this karma, you may continue to feel drawn to this person. But in this reading today, we're really seeing how we need to let go of things that just aren't good for us. So if that feels like this person, it might just be explaining to you, this is why you feel connected to them. There is some sort of past life tie here. Okay. But just because we have a soul connection with someone doesn't necessarily mean that we have to stay connected to them. There's just something important for us to learn connected to that person. Now, if some of you guys are wanting to reconnect with this person, there could be some sort of a reconnection. You guys could have be, be seeing each other. There could be a meeting between the two of you this month, but I'm also getting that this is new energy for some of you as well. This is definitely coming together and meeting someone where you have an instant connection with them. And it's kind of like, Oh, you know what? I, I do have the ability to meet other people and feel connections because some people get very hung up on one connection that they don't feel like they're ever going to feel. This one just wanted to come out. Look, pop it out. Soulmate. Look, believe. Okay. Have faith. Believe your soulmate is already with you in spirit. So this is about in a way, being your own soulmate in order to attract that in another person. It's beautiful. So this tells you guys that if you're looking for new love and you're saying farewell to someone, you're going to couple up with someone where you're going to have a really strong connection with them. So have faith that you will love again, have faith that you will perhaps have a strong connection with someone else. Okay. And also for some of you, if you are having some difficulties with a particular person, perhaps things because in spirit, you know, you guys are feeling that connection. You're feeling that pull towards them. Believe that what is meant for you and what is for your highest good will naturally occur. So it's not about pushing it or forcing it to happen. Maybe perhaps let go and have a little bit more faith. If you guys are meant to come together, you will. And if it does not happen, spirit may push you into something new. So it's about being open on your journey, I feel, and really realizing what's not good for you and making choices based more on in integrity this month. And also viewing people, if they're not acting with integrity and they're not showing up for you, those are the red flags. You need to pay attention to them. And when we take care of ourselves and we're in that high vibration, loving ourselves and respecting ourselves, you will mirror that in another person. So anyways, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that, th these messages this month. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.